Audio check. Book audio check. One more check. Yo. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, hope everyone's doing well today. 
Um, I figured out how to get my screen captured for, or through my cell phone. So whenever we do like the journal at the end of the stream, I can do like a POV cam so you can actually see what I'm writing. So if we get any donuts or subs, then you can try that out today. Because I spent like, I think two hours troubleshooting it, like, because there is like a program integrated for, um, for Samsung directly for PC, but mine wasn't working for some reason. And like I was reading the reviews and it was saying like just the app itself is glitchy. So I had to download some third party thing, so. I hope it works. It, it works. Like, I've tested it, but, like, we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start some Mario Kart today. As usual, we're gonna do about an hour of online and then an hour-ish of Animal Crossing. So that's the plan for today. <laughs> okay. Let's see. We're gonna do regional because we got <laughs> destroyed in Worldwide last week. Um, let's see. I haven't done a lot of Mario. Let's try a different character. Let's do Yoshi. Ooh, I did not realize there's different colors. Kind of like in the blue. He's got little purple booties, too. <laughs> okay, the highest person has 17k. So, no one that he's too cracked in this lobby. Yeah, so I was troubleshooting the um, camera capture, and it's actually pretty seamless, and the quality is actually fairly good. So I'm excited for that because if I could do like POV, then I can do because I wanted when I was doing art streams, I wanted to do um, like face cam and like POV cam, but I didn't have another camera. So since we have two cams, we can maybe do like just chatting IRL or like art streams more often if the phone camera is gonna work which is delightful to know because i thought i had to like down somewhere some expensive software but it was honestly free so that that's a that's a huge w for me man <clears> okay <throat> yeah, this guy's in 10th place sag they're on lap two they got the super horn they can maybe come back i wish we could see the map when we're spectating that way you can see how far ahead people are okay they're not too far away from pack I believe there was 11 people in this lobby, so they're kind of taking an L right now. Okay, they're going top path. I think the top path is definitely the better path for Sherbertland. Okay, they're still in 10th. They haven't gone up any places yet. They haven't gone down any either. So, hold in 10th. Nice and steady. Oh, okay, they're in 9th. Okay, let's go. They do have the golden shroom so they can maybe go up to like 8th. Oh, okay, they're in the snow. Honestly, the cars like that are the worst type of vehicles. Oh, they got a blue shell? Okay, okay. They're in the final, I believe, third section of this map. They can maybe come back. Oh, okay, they spun out at the end. No, no shot. They're stuck in nine. Okay, okay. Headed into our first match of the day. Hopefully we can do better than that guy. No offense. <laughs> um, I like all of these tracks, honestly. Let's see. I'll do Rainbow Road. An easier track to start off the day with. Okay, we got lost two people, Sag. Oh, I gotta get predictions going. Okay, so as we learned last week, it boosts my confidence if the prediction is just top six. Because it's not very often I get top three. <laughs> so anybody in chat, we're doing top six. We're doing top six for the prediction, okay? Oof. There's only seven people in here. Okay, we, we can clutch here. We chose my track. This track is easy. We just cannot get rammed. Okay. I think I also need to experiment with different types of bikes off stream. So I was watching this one video, and they were saying carts and bikes with the best acceleration is honestly what you're looking for. So I, I need to fix my build off stream. 
Oh, that was way too close. Okay, we're in fourth. Easy. We just gotta hold. Oh wait, there was only seven people in the lobby, so like the probability of me getting six is dramatically increased. <laughs> so believers, you guys took a W probably on this one. Oh! <laughs> I hate when people throw stuff behind them. It's so mean. I mean, yes, they are good at the game, but it's mean. They're bullying people. Get yeah, back and forth. This is. Okay, now we're in last place. Yeah, because this track is easy. It's just getting rammed off. Is where you're gonna take your L's. Okay, bullet fail. This can maybe save us. We can maybe get a six. Oh, no way. No way. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> okay. I know there was only seven people, so top six should have been guaranteed, but I, I guess not. That's fine. We'll, we'll get them next time, guys. Hi, Rainy. Welcome to chat. We're doing well today. Bruh, how did I get 7th place? It's actually devastating now that I think about it. Okay, next prediction is up, guys. <clears throat> and thank you for calling me cute. Thank you. Now, real quick, our audio level's good because Twitch Studio updated this morning because they were specifically updating the audio settings. So hopefully it's not messed up, but if it's kind of wonky, tell me. Oof, 200 CC. Oh no. <laughs> Sounds good? Cool. Thank you, Rainy. Oh my god, 200 is- it seems so much faster in online for some reason. I don't know what it is. Like, I could do 200 normally with comms, but with online it seems 10 times harder. Okay, we got no items, Sag. We don't need them though. Oh, this track is so fun in 200cc though. Oh! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> That was my fault. Anybody else flinch whenever they see items coming towards them? Or is it just me? Let's see if this saves us. Okay, that, that did not help. I wish it would like stay on track a little bit better for the bullet bills. Ah, oh, that turn could have been perfect. You're gonna fall off, Satch. Come on, come on, go! Oh my god, look how far behind the Mario guy is. Rip them. Okay, bullet, let's see. I think we got this at the same spot last time. Oh, come on, top six, we can do it! Ah, there we go. Okay, a fifth. I'll take a fifth. Like, look at how happy Yoshi is. I'll take it, man. Top six? Yes, we got top six. Ooh, all these tracks are hard and online. Just... 
I don't know which one to pick. They all kind of suck. The lines are all fairly difficult. Well, let's do Bowser's Castle. Let's try that one. Okay, new prediction is up, guys. <clears throat> I should probably make a, pre er, a command explaining what predictions are. If anybody in chat is unfamiliar, um, the more you watch a channel, the more channel points you accumulate. And depending on which country you live in, they'll have channel point predictions in chat. So you can basically um, gamble <laughs> your channel points in either like one, the, or either the first or second choice. And if you have, like, let's say 100 and believe and 10 and no, then if the people said no win, they get all the believers points, and if people who said believe win, then they get all of the doubters points. Like, it's actually really fun when there's, like, predictions on both sides. Yeah, I'll, I'll make a command explaining predictions off stream later. Yeah, that's a pretty good cut. We're in top five, we can hold, we can. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it always seems like anytime I try and like say something positive about the game, something happens, but honestly, something happens all the time in Mario Kart, so I shouldn't get too discouraged. Oh, that turn was pretty solid. I usually don't- I'm not able to do that line in online. Yeah, that was a tongue twister, doing lines in online. Okay, heading into lap 2, 8th place, doing decent, we're basically sticking with the pack right now. Okay, <laughs> I missed the trick jump there, I'm sorry. I love the thunder sound effects they have in this track. IRL, like thunder and lightning storms, scare me so much. I'm not necessarily scared of the lightning, I'm just scared of like what'll happen after the storm. Because just the thought of losing power gives me so much anxiety. But I love the sound of thunder. Like, I'm not into ASMR, but if I was, I'd be listening to, like, rain sounds and storm sounds. Okay, we're heading into lap 3. We're still in 8th place. Okay, back in 10th. drifted the wrong way. Okay, I, I should not have used this item. This is actually the worst time to use it. Okay. <laughs> Clutch 10th place at the end. Okay, that was actually unfair. I was robbed of 10th place, man. Okay, anybody new to chat? I'm good at this game. I just suck it online. I'm good at this game. It's just online lobby suck, okay? Let's do high roll circuit. I like that course a lot. A new prediction is up. Man, like everybody picked high roll almost. Well, there's two people with only 1k points. Feels bad, man.
Okay, we're doing decent so far. We're in fourth place. Oh, I should have got to the top half. That's fine. See, I wouldn't mind this course. It's just, I don't like how the how sections of the course fall off. Because the lines are so much more trickier. Like, they can't you can't get nearly as tight of lines. Okay, let's go. Ah, I missed the ramp again. You know items rip? Okay, I'm getting a lot better at this line at the end here though, honestly. Okay, we're in fifth, we're in the center of the pack. We can maybe catch up. Nope! Come on. Have you got top path finally? Yeah, that line is so much easier if you're able to get it. We got a fourth. That, that's great. That's actually great. Okay. Did we get top six? Yeah. Top six. So, top six. Yes, we did. We got a solid fourth. I will... I'm happy with anything fourth or above, honestly. Still doing up lanes. New prediction is up, guys. The thing I like about these Mario Kart streams is that I drink between every single race. So, like, I'm always, like, super hydrated after these streams. for sure. I usually don't play Mario Kart off stream, but I did last night. And I did fine. I just need to practice committing to my drifts more. I need to be breaking less. Because that seems to be the strat. Oh, look at that cut. Okay, <laughs> I kind of flubbed at the end there. Okay, what did I even get hit with? Take the bullet.
Okay, no items. There was like 10 item boxes there. How did he get none? We're not gonna go for the cutscene this time because I honestly need an item. You know, there's a cut here. Here we go. Come on, go! <laughs> I'm good at this game. I know I'm good at this game. New prediction is up. This is why I can only do Minecraft for like an hour at a time. Like any longer, <laughs> it ruins my psyche. <laughs> Ooh, we got 130 in doubt. Okay, okay. <laughs> I know I did lose the last two rounds, so granted, I'm not gonna bash you this time, man. On this course again? What? I think I got 11th last time in this one, yeah? Lines are pretty good so far. It's just a mat it's so hard to stay in the front. It all comes down to like the acceleration of your vehicle. Why? <laughs> okay, we have one guy with fireball. Took one guy out. Okay, we can use it now. No, come on. Go. They fell off. That's what they get from ramming me with <laughs> with the bullet pill. Yeah, that, that's what I get from talking smack to you, honestly. No, 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 no. Come on, come on. <laughs> Oopsie. That's our third eleventh of the day. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, I want to do DK Jungle because I like this track a lot. The skips are really fun. We play to have fun, we don't play to win. Okay, new prediction is up, guys. I keep on forgetting to take my Pikachu back to my chair. I need to do that today. Oh! 
Okay, we got DK Jungle. Nice. Excited for that. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so jumpy today. I fell off. Unbound Rose. I appreciate it. Thank you for coming to stream. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, we can come back. We, we can do this. I do not want to get- Oh my god, they fell off too! Oh my god, okay. I was like, I'm not gonna get last place. I'm not gonna do this. Go! Okay, okay. At least we did not get last. Oh my god. one pre with just hard comms just to prove myself to you guys that I'm decent at this game. I think that's <laughs> I think that's the third 11th in a row. Honestly, I'm sorry, believers. I I'm trying like I said, I got my blood drawn last week. My fingers are still sore. Oh. oh! Don't like this track. like online sometimes. Actually a scam. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I, w I wasn't paying attention then. That was actually my fault that time. Okay, the shrooms helped us out a lot there. Uh, it seems like the sand is horrible. Like, it's so much more worse when compared to, like, the grass or dirt in other levels. <laughs> okay, I was trying to go for a skip there. <laughs> Keyboard trying. Okay, we're in fifth. Okay, top six is in reach. We're not gonna go for a skip this time again. Not doing it. Okay, who put the banana there? Actually cheating. Okay, it's a solid eighth. Okay. At least it's not an eleven, you know. We broke that losing streak. <laughs> Royal Raceway. For funsies. Your prediction is up, guys. thought about like doing a stream where I add handicaps to online matches but if I can't even do well in regular online with no handicaps <laughs> then I don't think I can do that because I think tomorrow's challenge stream is going to be no coin run so I'm still thinking on like what I should do for it if I do end the race with coins but I'll have that figured out by tomorrow, though, so no biggie. Okay, okay, it is. I was just gonna say, it's so fun hearing people get hit with the shells. Like, the smacking sound is so nice. But it's like, I don't want to hear it for myself, dude. in the boxes. That's actually psychopath behavior.
Okay, we got into the race. Okay. We should make the prediction top 10, honestly. <laughs> Drop my phone, Sag. Cause like I have it on Do Not Disturb mode, but it just rang. So don't know why that's not working. Huh? That's odd. Anyway. Okay, until we get that figured out, we can't do the phone capture, because I don't want to leak phone numbers. Because so. you would think that putting on Do Not Disturb, it wouldn't even come up, right? I don't know, I usually don't use Do Not Disturb, so... I don't know all the functionalities of it. Oh, we got Cheese Land? <laughs> we got 20 to believe? Okay, we got a believer. Okay, okay. We love that. Yeah, I'm gonna clutch this one. I'm gonna do it. I don't like this track, but the music is nice. Oh, I should have saved the shrimp for the cut. Yeah, okay, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I get right when I was about to take the boost. Okay, that, <laughs> that was not what I wanted to do. Okay, let's save these troops for the cut. Oh, come on! Hey, I guess I didn't have enough speed. cut this time because I don't want to flub again. <sighs> okay, we got a ninth. I'm sorry, believers. I tried. Honestly, tried. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm stressing about other stuff. We're gonna blame it on that. Like I said, looking out today's going, if you wanna keep winning, just put doubt every time. Honestly. Toad Harbor. Nice, fun, chill one. Maybe what I need to do is disable cell service and Wi-Fi. That way I don't accidentally leak anything 
and I have my phone on screen. Maybe that's what I need to do. I mean, cause I'm only gonna have the phone capture for like maybe five minutes max. Cause I think if your phone is powered off, you can still leave a voice message. Like if it was important, they can just leave a voicemail. I don't know, I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. Oh, did you hear that? I broke that red shell. Okay. I should have waited to use this room. Okay, I drifted the wrong way. Okay, game changer. Got a star during the lightning bolt. Okay, we are really far behind, though. <laughs> it's gonna be tough to catch up, even. in case we get an icky item. Cut here. No, it's right there! It's right there! <laughs> Finally! Okay, we got a top six. Oh my god, it's been ages! By that, I mean, what, 20 minutes? Uh, still, 20 minutes is a hot minute. Top six? Yes, I did. Finally, I got a top six. I don't like any of these courses. We're gonna go random. See if we get anything good. Your new prediction is up, guys. I think I'm gonna put my hair up. She's bothering me. Usually not as frizzy by now. This course again? Okay, we're, we're gonna get first this time. <laughs> we can do it. Oh my god, there's one guy with 98,000 points! How? How are they here? Okay, oh, I'm just aiming for top six. That's all I want. My lines are getting a lot better at this track, though, honestly.
Okay, nailed that line. Actually, I'm correct. Okay. <laughs> Hi, welcome to chat. Um, Lisa Doggo, that's so cute. They them? Okay, got it. Well, glad you're able to catch the stream. Hope your day is going well so far. And if you have like a preferred name or short name, or it's not an L, or this I. Oh, it's a dog. Oh, <laughs> sorry, that was an L. I'm taking L's right now, though. Okay. <laughs> okay. I need to stop. I know I said my lines are getting better, but they're actually horrible. Okay, that line actually fairly good. Okay, we're in seventh. We can hold. Definitely, we can hold. Okay, that guy right there has three red shells. <laughs> Man, just one thing after another. No, come on, don't don't take this from me. <laughs> I had it. Oh bro, you got a shiny in Arceus? Insane. I need to play Arceus. I've seen a couple of people play it. It's just like the grinding in Pokemon is a night for me, but like the gaming mechanic in Arceus seems a little bit different than an actual traditional game, so I might play it at some point. Um been nice. Aw, cute. I love seeing people like make food for their dogs. Like, of course, like pet safe food. But like little cakes or cookies, it's so cute. Dude, if I had a pet, I'd be spoiling them so much. Sounds like a fun day, man. Got a shiny and get to celebrate the dog's birthday. Okay, new prediction is up, guys. <laughs> and you're just fighting like, no, I hate the new mechanics. <laughs> yeah, the only Pokemon games I've played where let's go Eevee and a little bit of Pokemon Sword. I got oh, I didn't play much of Sword because I got bored of it. Oh, thank you for the follow, is Zadaga. I appreciate it. Now, if you don't mind me asking while you're here, is like where did you find my content? Did you find it from like a different platform or in the browsing page? <laughs> Let's see. Because it's interesting to see where people come from. Oh, why did I not get the trick jump there? What am I doing? What am I doing? Okay. The hopping straw actually is life saving sometimes. We discovered that I think two weeks ago when we did the no drift challenge. Because when you do the hopping. Okay, I should not have gone down the center. I forgot you need a boost. Because when you do, like, the hopping, you basically turn in midair. So if you get stuck in a hard- or in a rock in a hard place, you can easily turn your position. Okay, we'll be able to see if this will help us. Oh! <gasps> oh, game changer right here. Go for the ramp. Easy. Red shell. Okay. Top three. Okay, okay. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Come on, I had it. I had third. 
Okay, how did I get a blue shell in seventh place? RNG is actually my favorite today. Okay, we, did, we just need top six. Come on, we can do it. No, oh no, come on. <laughs> there we go, we got a fourth. Okay, we got another fourth. That's all I'm looking for. It, but if we can get a first today, that'd be amazing. Let's see. We got top six? Yes, we did. <laughs> yeah, it, it's weird, like, watching Pokemon or playing the games and, like, thinking about, like, how they're actual children, like, in that universe that they're doing, like, all this crazy stuff, right? I agree, like, the dialogue, it's very, like, story-heavy and dialogue-heavy. Oh, I didn't pick a map, rip. That's why, like, I'm hesitant to play it on stream. But, yeah. Found me on TikTok? That's pretty pog. I've gotten, like, several people from TikTok. And it's also interesting when you look at, like, short-form versus long-form content. So, I'm glad you found me there, man. And we're doing Mute CD again, rip. Uh, I wish. Oh, I don't think I don't think there is. Cause I know you can join like tournaments online. But if there's like just the lobby where it go through like all forty eight tracks, so we don't get repeats, I think that'd be cool. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll do two more games after this one of Mario Kart, and then we're gonna switch to Animal Crossing for today. Okay, we're in fifth. First is very close to us, so you can maybe hold. Oh, really? That's cool. Yeah, I think it's important to, like, post your, like, streaming schedule on, like, the bio. Oh my god, we're in third! <laughs> Holy shit, okay. In, like, every single platform, like, as you said, like, you saw that was like, we're like, oh, I can actually pop in now. That's cool. Because, like, the more information you give people, the more likely they are to, like, check it out. Like, if I go to a channel, and they have, like, literally nothing in their bio or their about section, I get perturbed. Because, it's like, it takes, what, five minutes to, at most to fill out a bio? It's like, come on, dude. Okay, we're holding top six fairly well on this round. What's going on? Oh, okay. Okay, this is where it all goes downhill. Literally, anytime I try to talk and gloat a little bit, something happens. I mean, that's just MK for you. Back in six, okay? Just have to hope nothing else happens. <laughs> I don't want to lose like this. Because, like, my lines are fairly decent. Like, they're really tight. They're nice. It's just items are in everything. Oh, thank God. Come on, come on. We got a seventh. We could have gotten a sixth if the guy right in front of us didn't get a, a star as well. Tartar sauce. <laughs> no, we did not get top six. Rip. Okay, two more games to go. Let's see. I like Sweet Canyon a lot. Mainly because, like, the colors are really cute and pretty. <laughs> Why does that guy keep saying bye? <laughs> oh, they're probably leaving next round, then. 
And like, they look so sad too, they're like, bye, with their head down. <laughs> Oh, nice. Dude, you're almost done with your Pokedex? Insane. You're actually cracked, man. <laughs> I, I just need to... <sighs> I know I beat um, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee all the way. But honestly, that game was super easy. And my mom, she was super into Pokemon Go. So she let me transfer all her Pokemon Go Pokemon to Pokemon Let's Go. So I had all the legendaries that I wasn't supposed to have. Um, but I think Pokemon is definitely a game I'd play off stream. But then it's also like, if I start playing Pokemon, I'm gonna stop playing Pokemon Unite. And uh, honestly, I cannot stop playing Pokemon Unite. I'm so addicted. Okay, I got one guy with those shells. At least one guy. Oh, what am I doing? Stop. Okay, <laughs> we're heading into lap three, seventh place. Not too bad. We, we can for sure catch up. As long as we don't get hit by any items, we can definitely catch up. Or at least hold sixth place. take this from me okay <laughs> it's like, I did not want a repeat of last round okay we got a six we got top six that's what we're shooting for goal is top six oh I didn't run a prediction Sag sorry about that <laughs> okay this could be our last prediction of the day guys so, I forgot last round. Oopsie! <laughs> and we're gonna switch to Animal Crossing. I forgot to clean my glasses today. They're all dusty. Oh, you mean Link? Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I actually will play... I think Link, Isabelle, or Toadette. Those are my three mains. Because I like how Link is a heavy character. So, like, it seems like his turns are a lot easier to execute than the smaller characters. But, like... <laughs> if anybody makes me play a heavy character, it makes me so mad. Because it's so hard to, like, just turn with a heavy character. Or, like, a heavier character than Link. 
I will play with my sister sometimes, and like I'm better than her, and she's usually the one who's better at games, so she gets mad anytime we play together. Because we'll, we'll play together like once a month maybe. That way she gets her, her monthly fix, I guess. But we'll start playing and she'll get upset that I keep beating her. <laughs> a fun game to play in general. Like, also just learning lines and tricks. Okay, why did I get a bullet in 7th? I'm not mad. It's just, why did I get it? Like, it's so fun to, like, learn your lines and, like, see yourself get better at the game. Okay, we're in 4th. We're doing good. <gasps> they ruined my skip. They ruined it. Oh my god. I'm so upset by that, still. Oh, they ruined my skip. Unfair. <laughs> Honestly, same. Like, this is my sister's Switch. We technically share it because she doesn't play it much anymore. But the reason sh why she wanted to get the Switch when she was in high school was to play Smash with her friends at lunchtime. <laughs> but I usually... I think the game I play every day Guaranteed it's Pokemon Unite for the daily login gifts and goals and stuff. And then I play a lot of Mario Kart. I used to be so into Animal Crossing, like when it first came out, oh my god. Like I've definitely meddled down a little bit. For sure, starting a new island has definitely be festered that love for it. But as with any game, when you play it too much you get burnt out of it. Okay, I'm I'm fourth, no items. What happened? We got a six. We got top six. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Look at Yoshi just shaking their head. SMH did. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, I got top six. Oopsie. Almost ruined that for you guys. Okay. So, just to redeem myself, we're gonna do one map with palms. So, if anybody has a suggestion for what course I should do, versus yeah it's yeah i don't think there's anyone who didn't like animal crossing honestly okay we're gonna do 200 Ooh. oopsie okay. oh no why did i click the back button Okay, everything's the same. We'll do one race with 200 CC. I think you should try it out. You know, don't don't feel pressured to play Animal Crossing. Like it's definitely a super slow, agonizing game at times. I want to do this one. This one's fairly difficult. I love the lines in this course. Like I said, this one is just to prove myself that I'm good at this game, okay? This is 200cc, hard comms, frantic items. We're just doing one race. <clears throat> oh. I'm gonna write a prediction. Let's do first. Because I will usually get first place in computer games. There we go, prediction is up. Reminder, this prediction is if I get first place. Okay, first place. Yeah, when I practice with palms. Oh, frick. I usually practice with 200cc. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, come on, come on, go. Okay. This is actually rigged. Actually rigged. What is going on? Yeah, I can catch up. This is computer game, I can catch up. 
Because even hard comms aren't that difficult. To me, there's no notable difference. They just seem to know how to use items a little bit better. Okay, I did not mean to trick jump there. Oh my god, if I lose here... I'm ending stream, honestly. <laughs> I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm still gonna go for another hour. I don't want to let anybody down. Stop! I hate this game. I, I don't hate it. It's just like on this track specifically. It's so easy to accidentally trick jump. Oh! That was close. Okay, that was a mistake. <laughs> oh no. Okay, if we don't if we don't do well, we're doing one more race. We're doing one more race. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do one more race after this one. This one was an L. Okay, this, this one does not count. This one does not count. <laughs> no, I did not get first, Sag. <laughs> we're gonna do one more. One more. <clears throat> what? This is news? They cause cancer, Sag? Yeah, thank you. Thanks, Nintendo. You use smart steering? Oh, you gotta learn how to play without smart steering. Okay. Let's, let's choose another one. <laughs> That's a difficult one. Let's see. I think the lines in Cloud, Cloud, Cloud Top Cruise are fairly decent. Okay, we're running another prediction. <laughs> I will get first this time, I swear. And we just gotta practice, because with smart steering, to me it's a handicap, because you're not able- because typically smart steering will keep you in the center of the path, when in actuality it's best if you try and stay in like the inner turns, to try and minimax your lines. So practice a little bit with smart steering off with just regular comms. Oh, I did it too early. Line. Oh my god! <laughs> Am I good at this game? See, like, I can hold first, I can do it. <laughs> You've got protection, good. Granted, the lines in this track, I would say out of a uh, score of 10, they're probably like a 7. That was a mistake. What are we doing? <laughs> okay. Oh, my B button, I swear, is sticky. It actually is, no cap. It, it is sticky. Hi, welcome to chat, fitness gamer. Hope you're doing well today. Good luck, thank you. I, I will, I'm doing my best. Th this is a race to redeem myself. So if I fail this one, this <laughs> I'm gonna go cry. Yeah, I think my first Mario Kart game had to be Mario Kart Wii. I don't know what number it was called, but... Ooh. Okay, okay. Mine was alright. Could've been better. Oh, if you have any preferred, like, nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me fitness. Here we got protection, we're saved. Easy, we can definitely hold. Easy. Man, that red shell is still coming. See, I, I'm good at this game. Look at that. 200 CC hard comms, frantic items. See, I, I can do it. Bruh, I can do it. Nice. Yes, I did get first that time. See? Believers, I I'm I'm good at this game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm, we're done with Mario Kart for now. <laughs> I just needed to, like, feel better about myself after taking just so many L's today.
Okay, so we can go ahead and switch gears to Animal Crossing. So, uh, we are about an hour 15 in stream, so Gentle Miner, get some water, get a snack if you need it. So I'm gonna go switch up the game cartridges. I'm doing pretty good today, Fitness. How are you? I'm a little bit tired, but you know, right here. I gotta press the home button, right? There we go. Give me one second. Yeah, I wish I had a 3DS when I was younger. Like, I'd go to my friend's house just to play on their DS and play Cooking Mama. Like, I wanted to set up my Wii again to, like, play the Mario Kart Wii. But imagine playing on the Wii remote. That's gotta suck, like, actually. Okay. Yeah, what should we change our title to? Thoughts? Okay. Hmm. I think last week you called it Tom Nook is a crook. Let's see. What is another good pun? I'm trying to think of like a play on the word chilling. Hmm. Or shilling? Hmm. You broke two 3DSs? How? Actually, how? Capitalism simulator? <clears throat> okay, okay. We'll do that. Thank you, Isa. We'll do that. We'll do that. More like crapitalism. <laughs> oh my god. I had one girl in high school. She would <laughs> say that all the time. Like anytime we talked about like capitalism and socialism, she'd, she'd always be like, more like crapitalism. <laughs> oh my god. I miss them. They were so extra. Oh my god. They were like just always content. Hello there, everyone. Right now in Timbaland, it's 12.25 on Wednesday, February 23rd, 2022. Now for today's announcements. Did you know that Timbaland is home to a new campsite? The campsite is a place for visitors to experience the beauty of our island and the kindness of our residents. I can't think of anything more fitting for Timbaland. I'm sure we'll get plenty of, plenty of visitors, so take a moment to wander over and spread that island charm. And of course, we'll be holding a special ceremony to celebrate the happy news. If you are interested in participating and have the time, please check in with Tom Nook and Resident Services. And to wrap things up today, I have an event announcement. Oh, okay. Next Monday, February 28th, we'll be celebrating Festival. Start practicing those dance moves. That's all for now. Hope you all have enjoyed the loveliest of days. How cute. <laughs> Oh, Sag. <laughs> and just to think, did your parents, like, buy you two new DSs? Oh my god, if my kid bo broke their console, like, no, you are not getting a new one. <laughs> but yeah, you're a kid, I forgive you, you were, you were a child. No biggie. Yeah, I don't think I got my first smartphone until I was in junior high, so like, I think 14. And then before that... I had a 
blackjack, not a blackberry, a blackjack phone when I was 11. That we got at a garage sale. So I didn't have any like too expensive tech until like junior high at least. Bro, imagine buying your little five-year-old a Switch. People are so spoiled nowadays. <laughs> yes, we need that cancer-filled controller. We need to have a little fun in our lives. Okay, let's go talk to Tom to see what we need to do. Cutscene! Ah, oh, hello, hello! Our campsite is impressive! I'm already getting inquiries and applications from tourists who want to stay here. It won't be long until we start getting some guests. If we have a guest to tell, we'll go up at the temp site, so be sure to check it out or keep an eye out for that. Even though we weren't able to officially start business at the campsite just yet. What we need is for our visitors to be completely wowed by the wonders of life on our island. I'd appreciate anything you do to help improve the island. Yes, do some- Oh, I thought that he said a wedding. <laughs> okay. Do some weeding, plant some flowers, play some outdoor decorations to enhance the scenery. No shot. No way. Oh my god, your brother's so spoiled, dude. Y'all can share consoles. <laughs> See, this is why I didn't have any video games or consoles when I was little. They knew we'd break it. <laughs> okay, what should I do? Okay, so I need to do the customization cutscene first. Which I forgot to do last week, so... Got the workshop. Ready to dip your toes into the delightful waters of customization? Sure, man. Yes, that's the spirit. Let's get started. I believe a brief explanation about customization is in order. Honestly, it's incredibly simple. First, you'll need the item you want to customize, along with the required number of customization kits. And you'll customize your item at a workbench. The design or color will change in the blink of an eye. I do believe you'll find this easier to understand once you try it yourself. So, let's get started. Your goal for this session is to make a wooden wardrobe, and then do some customizing. The wardrobe you'll make, as well as closets, chests, and other items that store clothing are quite useful. You can use them to easily change into any clothes you have stored in your home storage. You could use your custom colored wooden wardrobe to put on your own fashion show. That freedom of, of expression is just the sort of thing we enjoy here on Tiblin, huh? Oops! You're going to need the DIY recipe for that first. Let me just send that over now. Okay, we got it. <clears throat> They're all set. So come see me after you get that wooden wardrobe, huh? <laughs> yeah, honestly. Like, I don't even play my Switch in handheld mode because I'm so scared that I'm going to drop it. And it's still my sister's technically, right? So she gets freaked out. Oh my god. Because she has like one of those glass screen protectors on it. And I scratched it by accident and she was livid. Like, she was so upset. I mean, valid why she was upset. Like, I understand why. Oh, thank you for the follow! Avo Alex, I appreciate it. Thank you for checking out the channel. Yes, make that wardrobe. Easy. Ah, uh, hello, hello. Got that workshop. Oh, you got that wooden wardrobe. I think that means it's time for you to customize it. I'll give you the customization kits you'll need in a moment. For now, please set up 
or please step up to the workbench. Yes, sir. Hmm. Looks like you're ready now with your wooden wardrobe. I think that means it's time for you to customize it. I placed the customization kits in with your belongings. So go ahead and try customizing your wooden wardrobe. Oh my god, he gave us 50 kits. Sheesh. Ooh, I love that white wood. Ooh. And I just love wood textures in general. Like, my room, as you can see, I have white walls. And then, like, a white chair. I just like lighter colors in general. But I love, like, dark wood against white walls. Ugh. Ew, green. Icky. Icky. Okay, pink is kind of cute. I love the dark wood. Let's do it. <clears throat> yeah, I agree. Like, sometimes the TV is too bright. But, like, it's just, like, kind of clunky to hold in my hands with the handheld mode sometimes. Oh, I, I skipped what he said. Rip. Okay. <laughs> As you just see, customizing items is quite easy when you have customization kits and a workbench. You can take the extras from today as, a gift, as my gift to you. Use some of your future customization projects, okay? As a graduate of my workshop, you'll now be able to buy any kits you need from the shop. Now, for the most part, you can customize furniture or other items you've made as DIY projects. However, some of the mass market furniture items sold in the shop can also withstand some customization. For example, you might be able to change an item's fabric or add a custom design to it. Figuring out what you can customize and how you can customize it can be a lot of fun. I agree. This concludes my workshop on customization. I hope you enjoy putting on a fashion show in your home using your custom wooden wardrobe. Now, take a break, okay? I do believe you've earned it. No, I want to get back to work. What else do I need to do? Okay, keep an eye on our campsite. Where there's a tent, there's bound to be a visitor, huh? When you see a visitor, be a good host and work that famous Megan charm. Okay. So I guess we don't need to build anything. <clears throat> yeah, when I got the Pro Controller, honestly game-changing. Like, I cannot play with Joy-Cons anymore. Okay, so Tom Nook said to see if there's somebody at the campsite, so let's go run over there real quick. Okay, let's see what flooring they have. Oh yeah, we can't see what they're offering. <laughs> yeah, I agree. We have a PlayStation. Because we didn't, like, play with our Switch for the longest time because we had the PlayStation, then we went back to playing the Switch. And me and my sister were like, we need to get Pro Controllers. <laughs> okay, so since we can't see what we're buying, I guess we just have to buy one of everything. This seems kind of scam to where they're not showing us what they're selling. Yeah, dark wood furniture is superior, honestly. Honestly. Hi, welcome to chat. Hope we're doing well today. If you have any preferred, like, nicknames, like shorting up your username or pronouns, make sure to tell me. <laughs> oh, I was so annoyed. Because I ordered my dresser from Ikea, right? And I swear I selected, like, the dark wood. But they sent me a black dresser. Eh? Okay, got it. Got it, if. And like, I opened the box, and like, the label said dark wood, but in the box was black pieces. And I was like, ah. Because at this point, I'd have been waiting for 
Oh, I'm buying the same rug again. Oh no. Oh no. I was not paying attention. Anyway, I had been waiting like two weeks for that dress to come in the mail. And I was like, I don't want to call customer service and complain and like rebox it all. So I was like, I'll just take a black dresser. Like it ruins the aesthetic of my room, but you know, it's fine. It's okay. Like, I could probably varnish my dresser or something. Oh, Ave, like avocado. Okay, got it. <laughs> I got you. It's okay, it's so- Okay, you know how people will, like, phonetically- Oh, I'm, I'm choosing the same rug again. Stop, no, I didn't- I'm not gonna do it again. <laughs> oh. Like, you know how people will, like, phonetically spell out their name in, like, their bios or something? I- I never understand it. <laughs> Like, I don't know how to read it properly. So I appreciate you clarifying, Abe. Now, let's see. Large, we already got the medium. Yeah, I want to get an emulator at some point and play some of like, the more retro Mario games. I'll do it one day, I promise. I'll do it one day. Five tickets. Yeah, I know it's cringe to like get furniture from IKEA, but it's so fun just walking around the store and looking at everything. Because when we went, what did I actually buy from IKEA? Because me and my sister switched rooms about four months ago. No, five months ago. <laughs> um. So, like, we switched out all our furniture, so she took my bed and I got a new mattress and a bed frame. So, like, I think most of my furniture in my room right now is all new and it's all from Ikea. <laughs> like, I know, I know I should have gone, like, secondhand stuff, but I just like getting new things. Like, the only thing that I'll consistently get sec secondhand is, is clothing. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. Wink, wink. <laughs> Ooh, big fish. Oh yeah, board games too. That's another good one. Ah, oh, it's not a legendary. Sag. When was the last time anybody has played an actual board game, though? Asking for a friend. Because, <laughs> like, the last time I played a board game was when I had, like, friends over, and that had to be, like, pre-pandemic, so, like... Oh, there's nobody here, Rip. What do we do? Oh, no, what do we do? There's nobody here! Okay, well... I kind of want to... Mm... Go with, like, one of the deserted islands and see if we can get a new villager. So, today's gonna be a chill day. There's no real objective, unfortunately. Rip. You have 50 board games? Oh my gosh. <laughs> like, I want to get into collecting things, but I know I do not have the space. Like, when I- because, like, I have a love seat over here in the side of my room. And it's cool because the cushion like lifts up and it has a storage space under it, under the seat. And like, oh, I don't know if anybody else goes through this too, but like you go through like phases of like interest. So like I had a phase a few months ago and I was into like polymer clay. So like I bought so much like craft stuff for it and I don't even use it anymore. Feels bad, man. Ooh, you got the expansion for Christmas. Let's go, mom and dad. <laughs> it's like, thank you, parents. Dude, I miss that. I miss, like, Christmas. Um, for anybody who doesn't know, I'm 22. I still live with my parents, rip. Um, but, like, we stopped. We still celebrate Christmas, but we don't do, like, presents anymore. Because everyone in the house works, except for me. I stopped working back in the summer. So, like, everyone has, like, money to buy whatever they want anyway. So, like, presents became, like, irrelevant. They fell off plus ratio. 
Well, let's see if Red is here. Nope, Rip. Okay. Oh my god. I remember when we were little, our parents would give us, like, a budget for Christmas. So they'd be like, okay, you guys get $100 each. We're gonna go to Toys R Us. We're gonna say that Santa gave you that money, but me and Dad are gonna take you to the store and buy you presents. <laughs> and, like, it was just so fun. Like, being able to buy things. Oh, rip. <laughs> Which I know is a, it's a... It's a privilege, so, like, we're appreciative of it. But, like, I miss that. <laughs> the grave mistake. <laughs> I get some satches in chat for Iza. <laughs> oh, bruh, but, like, if you toast your bread before you make a sandwich, it's god tier. Like, toasted bread is so good. Well, we have, like, um, a panini press for, like, stovetop. So, like, it's just, like, a, a ribbed pan. And then it has, like, a ribbed press. So you press it on top of the bread. Oh, it's so good. It's a pain to clean, though. Like, it's so hard to clean out the little ridges. But I can make some banger grilled cheese. <laughs> Panini press in my car right now. <laughs> For real though. You went through a painting phase? Ooh. I want to get into painting, like I really do. It's just because like I think I'm decent at drawing. I think I'm alright. <clears throat> oh rip, there goes my fishing rod. But like I get frustrated when whatever I envision doesn't come out as nicely as I like on the actual canvas. I, I need to practice more, honestly. Oh, bro, I want a sandwich now. <laughs> I used to work at a Subway, okay? Like, I used to make sandwiches all day, every day. And I stopped working there back in the summer. And I haven't gone to Subway since. Like, I've been craving it. But, like, half the fun of working there is actually making the sandwiches. Like, I know if I go to, like, a Subway now and, like, order, and if they don't make it exactly how I want it, I'm gonna get annoyed. Oh my god, a toaster oven? Ah, uh, Bruh. Scrambled eggs and halibut? Dude, you're going all out. That sounds so fancy. That sounds like restaurant quality. Like, make me one, dude. <laughs> Subway? <gasps> Ooh, okay. I need your thoughts, Ave. I was considering applying to Starbucks. Is it worth? Or is it too stressful? <laughs> Loving the reference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna I'm a leak something. The reason why I applied to Subway is I remember, like, I needed a job, right? And, like, I needed a job ASAP. And I remember seeing, like, the Odd Ones Out video on Subway. And I was like, oh, just apply to Subway. And I got a job. Weird coincidence, but honestly, that video probably spawned, like, so many people to apply. Even though he was basically, like, dissing it the whole time. Anyway, so, like, anytime I go to Starbucks, they're always so busy. Like, usually they're, like, fairly decently staffed. Like, I always see, like, six to ten workers. So I'm like, okay, they got enough people. But it still feels like a hectic work environment. We're gonna buy some more fishing rods, because I don't like crafting. Ooh. Eight and one. Y'all ever have, like, a pressure cooker or a hot pot? They are game changers in your kitchen. <laughs> Less than four? I know that's a typo, but that <laughs> that's, that's just funny to look at. But that's cool. It's nice that you guys are able to catch it yourself. Oof. So, TLDR, Ave, not worth. Don't apply. Got it. 
Yeah, I'm in um, Washington State, and there's literally a Starbucks on every corner. And then in turn, there's also like an indie coffee shop on every other corner. So we we love coffee here, apparently. Oh yeah, I was fishing. Oh, announcements. <laughs> okay, so Festival is next Monday. I'm actually going to write that down. I'm gonna ping myself to log in and play the game. I'm not a phone streamer, I swear. I'm just writing- I'm taking notes, okay? I'm not a phone streamer. Do not clip this and expose me. Monday the 28th. Cool, so I just have to remember to log on. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, same, Ave. Um. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> pockets are full rip. Because, like, I played Animal Crossing every day since it launched in, um, what you call it? March, I believe, of 2020. And then I stopped playing in, I think, early January. And then I didn't pick it up till recently because about a month ago for my first affiliate stream... I deleted my Animal Crossing save and I started a new one. That's why, like, you're seeing a lot of, like, the beginnings of an island in the stream save. So, yeah. Yeah, let's sell some stuff. <laughs> There's no indie- How is there no indie coffee shops in your area? What's going on? <laughs> Because I'm trying to think. I think there's like two in our downtown area. I'm not going to leak where I live. Not try, guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, I just like... I haven't done this in a while because pandemic. But like, I used to love going to like the coffee shops and just drawing for... Like, just loitering for two hours and just drawing. And like, sometimes people like come up to you and be like, Oh, what are you doing? Because, like, I needed that social interaction. Because <laughs> I'm very much, like... I used to be a lot more introverted. Like, honestly, it's surprising that I started streaming. Like, I swear, like, if anyone IRL... <laughs> so rude? It's, eh, it's not rude, necessarily. I guess it just depends on, like, the person. Like, I used to be bothered when, like, people would come up to me and ask me, like, what I'm drawing. But... Over time, like, I warmed up to the idea of it, so it doesn't bother me as much. I think it's better to, like, talk to the person than, like, just stare at them. <laughs> slash J? <laughs> okay, I love the jokes where people put slash S slash J, so thank you. <laughs> Honestly, save. Um, I think I started streaming in August of last year, so I've been streaming for about six, seven-ish months. And I think the most fun part about it is just seeing yourself grow over time. Because before, when I first started, I did art stream, so I would draw a picture. <laughs> like, it was really cringe because, like, I didn't talk much because art stuff, you're so focused on, like, the actual render of the project you're working on. So you're not necessarily focusing on, like, entertaining the viewers. But once I started, like, playing more Mario Kart, and, like, actually... Like, even just, like, planning one concept for your stream definitely adds a level of... Not expertise, but it adds something to your stream, right? Because if you guys look at my schedule, exclamation schedule in chat, You'll see that on Thursdays, I typically will do, like, a Mario Kart challenge run. Like, tomorrow, I believe it's gonna be a coinless run. So, I get dinged if I collect coins at the end of the race. I'm still thinking about how to actually format it, but that's gonna be the basic concept for tomorrow. Oh, yeah, streaming is expensive, dude. Let me- okay, let me actually outline everything that I bought for stream. So, when I started streaming, I had my MacBook Pro that I got through my college. So that was included in my tuition, but still that laptop on its own probably cost $500. And then I had to buy like a camera capture card, I had to buy all the cables, 
I also upgraded my internet, so it was an additional $50 a month. <laughs> and then I wanted to start streaming gameplay because my MacBook couldn't handle... Oh, my inventory is freaking full. Okay. Because my MacBook couldn't handle gameplay because it, it it's heavy on your processor on your computer, right? So I saved up my money to buy this nice Alienware M17. I love her so much. She's amazing. But this laptop costs, I think, 2.5k. But keep in mind, since it's a gaming laptop, you don't necessarily have to use it for gaming because just the processor on its own is amazing. So like when I edit videos or do drawings, like the processing speed, immaculate. It renders out a 20 minute video in two minutes. Like she's amazing. <clears throat> we got a train going by, you might hear it. <laughs> um, But yeah, streaming is definitely a lot to invest in. So, ooh, I was gonna say, so what, I, what I'd recommend is like just, because like a lot of six or people who have a lot of success in streaming is people who cross post a lot. So either like YouTube or TikTok. So I would say like download a free editing program and just get used to like the editing workflow because that's how you're going to see a lot of your success is through cross posting. Like I think um, Issa said earlier that they found me on TikTok, which is pretty pog. So in order for them to find me, <clears throat> they have to like see that we uploaded and edited content, right? I wanted to go over here. Yeah, for sure. The equipment, honestly, it seems like a scam. <laughs> because, like, not a lot of people who stream are successful, quote-unquote, which is understandable, right? Not necessarily everyone likes the vibe of a smaller stream, and that's fine. Like, I'm not upset by that. Because the way I see streaming is just to build, like, to better myself. Like, it'd be cool if monetization was there, but I'm not going to get upset if I don't hit it, you know? And it also sucks because people coming into streams, they have an expectation of quality, right? Like, I've seen posts about people saying, like, oh yeah, you can just stream, like, I've seen people be successful where they just, like, record the TV screen on their phone. But also, like, genuinely, who's gonna watch that if they don't like your personality yet? <clears throat> um. Because to me, the main thing that keeps people coming back to your stream is, one, how you interact and engage with your chat box. Like, actually, like, having conversations. Or, like, being funny. <laughs> <laughs> like that's what keeps people that's what keeps people coming back rather than like your gameplay so I would have to say like build up your personality first like let me just say there's like a lot of mid people who gained a following pretty quick quickly right but their content is kind of like eh. not saying that my content is amazing like I think I'm kind of eh. Oh, nice! That's pretty pog, is a... It's weird how, like, oh my god, I made a TikTok, I think it was two or three weeks ago at this point, but it was talking about how um, I try to be appreciative of chatters and lurkers, because they're all part of the stream, right? And, like, I tagged at the end of the video, like, I, I just lightly, passively said, I'll say, hey, you know, like, if I log into my YouTube and I see a new sub, I'm like, yes! Like, I wasn't- okay, I wasn't baiting people to sub, but apparently it worked because I gained 20 subs from just that one video. And I was like, what the fuck? I was like, I did not mean to do this. I- because, like, I don't like baiting content. To me, it's cringe. Um. But, like, it was just, like, an, a passive comment. And if people see that you're, like, genuine about stuff, they're more likely to like you. So... Granted, I <laughs> I do do the ego bit sometimes, because I think the ego bit is funny, but with streaming, you're, it, it can be frustrating at times because you're basically broadcasting your personality. That's why you see a lot of people get burnt out of it over time. 
But you know, don't be scared to try it out. I know I said both positive and negative things, but if you want to do it, just do it. <clears throat> Ooh, what you can do, if you can't necessarily afford equipment, there is, um, today, like I said earlier, I don't know if you were in stream earlier, Abe, but I found this one stream, screen sharing program that'll connect my Samsung phone to my desktop. So it'll record my phone screen. So you don't necessarily need like a fancy camera or a capture card if you want to just capture your face cam. Like you can just screen cap your camera on your phone. So that was actually pretty pog. Like I wish I had figured that out sooner. Um, so you don't necessarily need like all the fanciest capture cards or the nicest laptop. Yeah. Your community college, Sag. Yeah, I'm doing um, college online, so I definitely have a lot more freedom with my um, personal schedule, which is really nice. <laughs> I know, same. I okay. I'm I'm pretty bougie too. <laughs> I feel it. Like <laughs> I know I could have gotten like a cheaper laptop, but like. I told myself, if I'm gonna, like, drop money on a laptop, I wanna buy the nicest one I can get. <laughs> so I feel it, I feel it. I get it, I totally get it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm pretty, like, wishy-washy on stuff. I'm very much a centrist, so, like, I will take both sides on a lot of issues. <laughs> I agree, so I agree. I assume you, like, get into a hobby for two weeks and then get bored of it. Literally me. That's why, like, I try and stream- my schedule right now is three days a week for at least two hours because I know if I streamed more, <laughs> it might be a my- <laughs> I'm a Taurus, though. I'm not into horoscopes, but I'm a Taurus, if that is a tell for anything. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Y'all are so cute. <laughs> um, anyway. What was I saying? I totally forgot. Oh yeah, so I'm doing online college, so my schedule is pretty flexible. Like, right now I'm shooting for 3Ds a week for at least 2 hours. Because I know if I stream for more days a week, I'm gonna get burnt out. And also, like, just being on camera is anxiety-inducing on its own. <laughs> so if I do it for more than two hours, I'm gonna, like, psych myself out. Like, I think the longest stream I've done was a five-hour stream. And it was back when I was doing art streams. Um, excuse me. And I, I painted a shirt for five hours. Like, I, I barely talked during the stream. But it's weird being on camera and like broadcasting yourself to an extent. But it definitely takes a while to get used to. <clears throat> I'm sad. Imagine having. <laughs> What's nice about my college schedule is that like you don't necessarily have to be there for the Zoom meetings because we have a lot of like international students in a lot of the classes. So you just have to rewatch the recording, so it's kind of cool. <laughs> like, I really like the class format they have for my college. Like, it's really forgiving for people who have, like, jobs. Or, like, who have to watch their kids, so... I'm glad I chose this university. Yeah, I agree. But what's interesting too is because I was doing online university before pandemic. So, like, all the professors, all the students were already used to, like, an online class environment. So, the transition wasn't drastic. Like, everyone was pretty chill at our school. They're like, okay, everything <laughs> is normal. Back to the usual. The only thing that sucks about just online college in general is you lose the collaboration aspect of it. Like, a lot of the team projects I have, it doesn't feel as, like, 
genuine as if we were like sitting together, like sketching our stuff together, you know? We're like sitting in a writing room. Like, I definitely miss that. <laughs> Spill? What? <laughs> what? No drama. <laughs> no, I don't have any drama. <laughs> I'm just saying it's so much easier for people to flake with online classes, you know? Granted, I, I'm a flake myself, so I have definitely skipped out on some team meetings. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just self-reporting right now, like, I'm spilling the tea on myself. <laughs> yeah, I agree, like, in per- Okay, my mom works for a school, right? She works in an elementary school. And in Washington, Inslee, our governor, our governor, announced in March, um, masks will no longer be mandated in March. And it's just like, because me and my mom, we're both moderate risk, so if we get COVID, we could be hospitalized, which sucks to think about, right? Um, but it's just like, it's not fun to think about. Like, I understand with, like, younger kids, it makes sense for them to be in class. But, like, with college, you don't necessarily need it. Like, a lot of just college curriculum in general, like, you learn on your own. Yeah, I agree, Issa. Like, I'm not here for it either. <laughs> I thank you for the follow. <laughs> Miss Twist, I appreciate it. Hope we're doing well today. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not living it. Me and my mom were actually pissed when Inslee announced it. We are like, what the fuck? But, you know, we'll see. We'll see. He might renag on it. Hopefully he renags. Like, I'll call his office every day to make sure he renags and, like, takes it back. <laughs> use I'm gonna use the Uno reverse card. <laughs> um, If y'all don't know, I'm really lefty, okay? I'm, I'm a progressive. So if y'all don't like that, then um, leave. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But actually leave. I'm not- I'm not here to debate. I'm not- I'm not a just chatting Andy, okay? Anyway. <laughs> but, yeah, like I was saying, like, college- like, the curriculum is- is very easy to set up for online anyway. Yeah, honestly, like... Last thing I'll say about the mass mandate is, honestly, it should have been... Yeah, all provinces in Canada are doing the same, like... I feel like it should have been a national. I did not appreciate how, like, everything was up to the states. Like, that to me made no sense. Like, it, to me, I don't like how someone living in Washington can have a different quality of life than someone who lives in Missouri. I don't, I don't understand how that's okay. I think everyone should have equal access to everything. Like, I don't understand how some people can get away with certain crimes in other states when others can't. I don't- I don't understand it. Anyway, <laughs> I know I said yesterday I want to do just chatting more, and I was brainstorming topics to talk about, and they were all political, and I was like, oh no, I don't want to do this just yet. I'm not ready. I can't handle people debating me just yet. Um, but anybody new to chat, I definitely want to try and integrate more just like just chatting segments to where like I react to a video. Or, like, I have, like, bits prepped, and then we can react to a video together and, like, meme. So if anybody has suggestions for, like, something, like, a topic they'd like me to, like, talk about, or, like, um, what do you call it? Or, like, expand on, like, definitely tell me. <laughs> Your teacher sounds like Lin-Manuel Miranda. That's actually kind of pog, though, honestly. That's pretty poggers, dude. Yeah, any history is not fun to think about, but it should be taught. I definitely liked world studies a lot more than U.S. history. Because I think it's interesting to see how, like, different cultures handle certain issues. Or not certain cultures, certain, like, world governments. Yeah, I never liked history class just in general because my memory is horrible. Like, actually, it's <laughs> really bad. <laughs> so it's like, anytime we'd have to take a test and be like, oh, this event happened on this date. And it's like, I don't know. <laughs> January 2nd? I don't fucking know. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. I think I just got hit too many times in the head when I was a baby. I don't know. <laughs> um, for anybody new, I was in two car accidents when I was a baby. One pre-birth and then one when I was like one years old. So something's not right up here. You know what I mean? <laughs> I remember um, one of my friends from elementary and they told me <laughs> that they... Um, um, them and their sibling would hit each other in the head with binders when they were like five and for fun. <laughs> and like, I remember talking to them, I was like, oh yeah, that's why you guys are like low key super weird. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, honestly, NA education is kind of sus. Um, a topic that I'll touch lightly is when I was in middle school and junior high, or no, middle school and high school, they didn't talk much about Japanese internment, which I am Asian Hispanic, so I'm Japanese myself. Um, I don't have any relatives that were interned, but I have family friends who were interned, right? And in our history books for NA history, NA North America, okay, NA. Like there was maybe two paragraphs on Japanese internment and that's it. And it's like, okay. And it's wild to think about because, <laughs> not to laugh, but the ad coming off my trauma, Sag. <laughs> no, 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 you're good, you're good. Um, that's how it, it do be like that. That's why I give that warning in chat to tell you guys that an ad is coming. But yeah. <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> so like, there's they, they don't talk about internment much, which to me is wild. It's like, yes, they didn't, like, kill the Japanese people, but it's, like, still not cool that they did that. Not cool. <clears throat> and it's wild because... In a... Because I'm in Washington, right? So I'm very close to a town where there was an internment camp. And it, it's crazy to think that a topic that is so ingrained in our state's history was not discussed nearly enough. Anyway, <laughs> tell your state representatives that there needs to be more curriculum concerning NA history. That's all I'm gonna say on that. Just go vote. If you're old enough, go vote, please. Like, don't throw out your ballot. Just go vote. That's the best thing you can do. <clears throat> Bruh, Animal Crossing makes me talk about the... <laughs> Most controversial things, honestly. I need to stop playing Animal Crossing. Can we go back to Mario Kart, please? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. That's what Animal Crossing is for. Like, I kind of treat it like a just chatting stream. Because the game is pretty chill. We've been, like, picking weeds for, what, 30 minutes now? <laughs> Rip. <laughs> yeah, there, there's a lot of sus stuff. Um, thankfully, a lot of our history books in school, because I'm in Washington, right? Like, a lot of the books are fairly progressive and, like, actually talk about black history properly. Like, it's wild looking at some, like, history books that said, like, slaves were workers on the farm and not actually enslaved people. It's, it, <clears throat> it's insane. Like, just certain worded or wording of phrases can drastically change the meaning, right? And basically try and erase or minimize history. Like, that's wild. <laughs> You'll splurge the cursed things I have learned. <laughs> okay, this is our last section that we're gonna weed out, and then I'm gonna call it a day. I've also decided, at end of stream, I think I'm also going to write down people who follow while I'm live. That way, hopefully, people will be tempted to sub as well. Um, if people don't know or are new to chat, we'll go over this at end of stream as well. Um, but if you choose to, like, sub, give bits, or donate while I'm live, you do get your name written at end of stream. Kind of like Amaranth, you know? 
<laughs> but like cuter, I guess. <laughs> but I like to see it as doing something a little bit extra for people who give that little bit of extra support, you know? Ooh, I'm trying to think. Because there was one time in, like, social studies. What were we talking about? <sighs> I can't remember what it was. But, like, you know how there's, like, some debate Andes in your class who are, like, low-key super racist? And, like, they self-report on themselves. And you're like, hmm. <laughs> like, I remember, I think it was, like, one or two months ago, like, Hasanabi was reacting to, like, a high school class debating about if the confederate flag should be seen as a hate symbol and there were some like debate andys in the classroom who were like well actually it's not technically and it's like oh my god like stop <laughs> i understand freedom to expression but also like something should not be <laughs> showcased or highlighted like insane <laughs> it's out here changing the subject i love that thank you Where's that fish at? I want to see him. I mean, that'd be kind of cool. Okay, let's go sell our things for the day and call it a day. A lungfish? Okay, that makes sense. That, that's actually a well-fitting name. <laughs> I'll look that up later. You got for a future stream had fun? Yeah, no problem. I enjoyed talking to you, Ava. Or Ave. <clears throat> Thank you for coming into stream. Hope you have a great day. Okay, let's see. Can sell these. The hagfish? No, I have not. Please tell me more. Okay. Let's go put the rest of our stuff in storage. And hi, welcome to chat, Armood. Hope we're doing well today. <laughs> Whoa. Imagine getting slimed to death. <laughs> the kid's choice award's gone wrong. Can we just have a stream where everyone shares, like, fish facts? <laughs> I think that'd be a fun time. I used to be so into, like, marine biology when I was little. Like, I was one of the kids who would go to the library and check out, like, the animal encyclopedia. Like, I was one of those nerds. They're as tall as turkeys? I mean, turkeys are pretty big, granted. They're, like, huge. Wait, is that canon? I'm thinking about the uh, Jurassic Park. <laughs> Ecology major? Oh, okay, cool, cool. <laughs> that w I think that would be a fun concept for just chatting. Like, I make a presentation just talking about, like, specific animals. I, th I think that would be a cool stream. Oh, really? So Jurassic Park is not canon? Imagine? <laughs> Who knew? I mean, it just would have made Chris Pratt look less epic, so I understand why they made him three times as big. Yes, I did. <laughs> yeah, Mario has... 
he's so cool. <laughs> oh my god, watching... Uh, I wish I could find the clip. Watching Chris... Or no, Donkey and Connor eats pants react to Chris Pratt as Mario. Let me actually see if I can find the clip. Because it's such a good clip. We're gonna save our game. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna actually find that clip because it, it's so good. If anybody doesn't know who Connery's Pants is, then you need to go watch his stuff. Connor eats pants. Chris Pratt. <laughs> Okay, okay. Let me actually find where he reacts to it, because it, it's so good, honestly. Okay, 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 it's actually at the front of the clip. Okay, okay. Let's see. See if I can do this right. We're gonna do a live react, okay, guys? <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, freak, freak. I hate this. Okay. You better. Oh, this sucks. This sucks. Never mind. <laughs> We're not- we're not doing this. I'll link- I'll link the video. I will link the video. I'll do that. Hey guys, go watch this video later. It's a good clip. It's a good clip. It's basically him- <laughs> the, the title is called Nintendo Direct, but I take a shot every time it sucks. It's such a good video. No, the video was so funny. I remember I watched it live and it was so good. <laughs> I will get React set up another day, because honestly, React content is god tier content. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and call it a stream here. So well, thank you to anybody who came into chat. <laughs> yeah, Nintendo Directs are actually mid. I'm still upset that we didn't get Mario Kart 9. Honestly, still livid. But DLC sounds alright. It sounds alright. Um. I'm going to go ahead and call it a stream here. Thank you to anybody who came into chat, any viewers, any lurkers. I appreciate anyone who comes in. Um, we did get a new follows while we were alive. We had Unbound Rose. We had Isidago. Um, <laughs> Abby Alex. And then Miss Twist. I appreciate the new follows as well. Um, yesterday, we did get a new sub. So, <laughs> exclamation journal in chat. Oh, I didn't do the command, Sedge. There we go. So, as I said earlier, anybody who chooses to sub or gift does get their name written on cue to end a stream. So that was Rainy from yesterday. <clears throat> and here's a full page from last week. So yeah, I'm not saying you guys have to gift. I'm just saying this is what happens when you do. Okay. I'll, I'll stop shilling. I'll stop shilling. I know it's cringe. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and see if anybody I know is live right now that we can read out to. Okay. So we are going to be heading over to Cutie Lee's channel. So if anybody is new to raids, the way they work is I end stream, right? And then all of you chatters go over to their channel. And what you guys do is you guys be nice, spam my emotes, or say, like, right here. If we look at the raid message, it says, okay, chat, get ready. We're about to read out. You can say, peace, raid, or you can sub, or if you're a sub, spam my emotes. So keep in mind, please be nice to them, because anyone I do read out to are my actual friends, so be nice. If you are rude to them, you will get banned here. I don't care. They are my friends. If you're mean to my friends, I don't like you anymore. So, yeah. So you can... You can copy and paste this here, so you can do Peace Raid, right there. And if you are a sub, I like to use the Peace and Spin emote. I think it's so funny. Me just spinning in the chair. 
Okay, so you can either copy and paste those messages in chat to type in Kidulis chat when we head over there. So let's go ahead and get that work started. I dropped my phone again, Saj. That is fine though. Okay, so yeah. I will be back again tomorrow with a Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Challenge run. I believe we're gonna be doing the coinless run, so look forward to that. Um, I'm still thinking out what the stakes will be, but I will be live again tomorrow, um, 11 a.m. PST. If you want to see any more of my offline content, you can go ahead and check out my Clips account or my YouTube. So yeah, that is all I got for you guys. I will be in Kidulis chat for a while, so let's go ahead and head over there. Okay. Bye, guys.